It had been a few weeks since I had any strange dreams or visions which, ironically enough, was strange in itself. After many long hours of researching what may have happened to my parents, Kelly and Simon came up empty-handed. They were stumped. They couldn't find a lead on who my real mother and father were, or even where they could have lived. Kelly pointed out that because Mother Helena had kidnapped me as a child, I could have come from anywhere and ended up at Woodside Orphanage. The search was proving harder than any of us thought it would, and my vision-free streak was about to end. It was a cold February morning when I stopped by the local bakery to get a few cups of coffee to take to Kelly and Simon. As I left the bakery, I immediately noticed the snow that had been covering the streets was gone. The air was warm, and the trees were all green. Suddenly, I wasn't outside the bakery anymore. I was in an amusement park. I quickly turned around to where the bakery had once stood, when the ground beneath me began to shake. A thunderous sound filled the air, and I could hear screams in the distance. The shaking knocked me off my feet, and as I hit the ground, I landed in a snowbank. The air was cold again, and I was back in front of the bakery. The theme park was gone, but the screams still lingered. I immediately went to Kelly and described my vision to her. She instantly recognized a location from my description. Not far away, there was an amusement park that had shut down four years ago after an accident killed more than a hundred people. I knew I had to go there. And as always, Kelly began listing the reasons why she should go investigate with me. And as always, I talked her into staying. I immediately left the store, and within a few hours I was standing at a gate, overlooking the remains of a decrepit theme park. My name is Delaware St. John, and this is the Sea Cliff Tragedy. speed limits mean nothing to you. Those numbers on the signs along the road? Is that what those are? Where's Kelly? Kelly? She, um, I think she stepped out for a bit. Not to worry, though. I've got all of her notes right in front of me. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, sounds like you have everything under control. I just spilled coffee all over everything. Glad I'm not there. Kelly's gonna flip. All right, here's the short version of what happened. Seacliff Amusement was built overlooking the Atlantic back in 1968. Four years ago, it was shut down when the entire back half of the park collapsed, killing over a hundred people. Investigators discovered a series of natural caves under the park and determined that they were the cause of the collapse. You would think it's common sense not to build a roller coaster on top of hollow ground. Apparently no one knew the caves were there when the park was built. The most recent park owner, Theodore Crandall was found hanged in his house the same day of the incident, so the investigation met a premature closing. Didn't they have land surveyors back then? Well, somebody must have signed off on it, but I'm afraid there's no record of who. Oh, listen to this. 24 of the people who died were on the roller coaster. Right after it left the station, the park collapsed. They plummeted straight down into the ocean. So much for a death-defying thrill ride. All right, Simon. Thanks for the background info. 
I'm going to take a look around. I'm going to need some light. And of course I left my flashlight in the truck. I was wondering how far you'd get before you remembered your flashlight. Kelly, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the office with Sir Dorkalot. Look, I've been ditched twice already and it's not gonna happen again. Besides, Simon is more than capable of handling the research, and just because you have the visions, doesn't mean it's your case. We're partners, remember? How could I forget? The paranormal websites all say the activity is rampant around here. The cliffs back there gave way. Yeah, I know. The cliff collapsed, taking half of the park and patrons with it. Simon already filled me in. See, I told you he's more than capable of handling the research. Look, you wanted to come out here, fine. I can't stop you, but we should split up. I don't need you cramping my style. When did you get style to cramp? Fine, I'm not ready yet anyway. I need to set up some equipment. You go take a look around and then come back and let me have Vic. It's a board of missing children. Looks like they all disappeared within a year of each other. This metal rung came off the ladder. The running theme is clowns. Couldn't they have chosen anything less creepy, like vampires? Is someone there? Whatever it was, my flashlight scared it off. Delaware, how are things going? Simon, I just had an encounter with something. It looked like a shadow, but with glowing eyes. Shadow people? Here? Shadow people? Whatever it was, it made me feel like I was going to pass out. It's a theory that remaining energy, or memories of a deceased person, are what creates ghosts. But shadow people aren't human. They're actually demons that prey on human life force. They seem to be allergic to light. Yes. Yes, they are. You can scare them away with bright light and they won't be able to reappear for a while. Just be careful. If one is around too long, it could drain your energy to the point of unconsciousness. Ah, so that feeling wasn't just me. Also... There's something I forgot to tell you. You mean about the Crandall family home being in the park? Yeah, I got that. It seems someone left a light on for me. A light on? Well, that's not too odd, considering the park is still receiving electricity. Theodore Crandall's brother took over the property, and as a measure to keep vandals out, he kept the electricity on. I'm sure most of the rides are turned off manually, but all of the park lights are powered. That should make it a bit easier for you. Thanks for the heads up, Simon. I'm going to check out the Crandall house. Oh, and Delaware, do you think you could... Don't ask me to get a picture of shadow people. Right then. All right. I'll let you carry on. Mrs. Crandall died in the funhouse. That's probably why it's boarded up. Who are you? Why are you in my house? My name is Delaware St. John. I'm here looking for Theodore Crandall. I'm Theodore Crandall. 